Every day, you go to your job, work for 8 or more hours, and then go home. You repeat this cycle day in and day out. Then every two weeks, you receive your paycheck and almost immediately after cashing it, realize that it's been consumed by all your bills and routine spending. Does this sound like you? Well, this is the sad reality for most people and the solution is to earn more money. But quite frankly, who has the time? Between work, family commitments, and trying to stay active, there seems like no extra time in the day to make more money. This is why if you want to break out of this financial rut and aspire to a more financially fruitful life, then you need to master the art of passive income. And luckily boss, in this video, I will share with you 5 ways to make money while you sleep. And if you're new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button below for more life changing content. Let me start off by sharing a fable about a young man and his mentor, and how the young man came to learn the true path to becoming rich. There was once a young man who wanted to become rich. Growing up in the middle class, his parents knew very little about achieving financial wealth, so the young man had to find someone who could provide him this guidance. After searching for months for a suitable mentor, the young man was connected with one of the most affluent men in his city. One day, he went over to his mentor's home and asked his mentor what he had to do to become rich. The mentor smiled and asked how hard the young man was willing to work. The young man replied by saying that he was willing to work from sunrise to sundown every single day if that's what it took to become rich. Then the mentor asked a question that caught the man off guard. He asked how hard he was willing to work as he slept. The young man replied that nobody works while they sleep, but the mentor explained that in order for him to become rich, he needed to figure out how to make money during this time. You see, in this world there are two kinds of people. Those who sell their time for money and those who have learned how to make money while they sleep. And the goal of this video is to teach you how you can leverage the power of passive income to make you rich. Unfortunately, many people are stuck in the mindset that the only way to make money is by working a 9 to 5 job, which is also known as earning active income. They probably hold this belief because this is the same way that their parents and friends earn their own incomes. Now, to be fair, in the past this was typically one of the only ways to earn an income. However, things have changed dramatically in the past couple of decades, especially with the emergence of the internet. In the information age we live in today, you can build a digital asset that can make you money 24 hours a day. Now, not everyone is suited for earning this type of income, however. Making passive income, especially through a business, often comes with investing hundreds or even thousands of hours of work before any payoff is provided. For many, they simply are not willing to put in the work and face the adversity that comes with building a passive income stream. However, for those who want to invest the time and energy, the payoffs can be tremendous. So here are 5 ways that you can make money while you sleep. Number 1. Start your own business Whenever I suggest to someone that they should start their own business, I often get the response that they wouldn't even know where to start to set up their own business. From someone who's set up multiple businesses, I can share with you two important points. Not all businesses need to be complex, and they can be the most powerful ways to make money while you sleep. Like I said, in the past couple of years I have set up multiple businesses, and after doing the initial legwork to get them off the ground, I've done almost no further work but they keep generating income every single month. Sure, these businesses aren't making me millions of dollars, but they are affording me to live a very comfortable lifestyle. You see, the key to running a business that makes you money while you sleep is to leverage the time and expertise of others. For each business I own, I seek out and hire a proficient manager in that field. So for instance, if you were to start a blog and have that as your passive income generating asset, then you would want to hire a website manager who is proficient in things like SEO, design, and content production. By hiring a manager, I can free up my own time while also leveraging other people's skills because while I'd like to think that I'm amazing at everything, that simply isn't true, and more often than not, paying for someone else's expertise is worth the cost. Now, quite frankly, not everyone is built to start a business. Being a business owner takes a certain degree of risk tolerance and a lot of perseverance, given the fact that most new businesses fail within the first few years. But I strongly advise you to do it if you think you have what it takes. Number 2. Start an Online School If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know that while I think school has merit in certain cases, the power of a degree just isn't what it used to be. And while I say that formal degrees aren't as valuable in the market these days, it doesn't mean that education in general is useless. In fact, I think the more you can learn, the better. But I think that technology has evolved to a point where learning has extended outside the traditional classroom setting, which is just another opportunity for you to start making money while you sleep. 
just a few days ago, I came across a YouTube channel called Income School. Income School and its content revolves around teaching people how to set up a passive income website from scratch so that you can replace your 9 to 5 income with an online income generating platform. Now while the two men who run this channel provide a lot of great content, they also offer coaching and private programs for those who want to expedite their success. You see, platforms like this are powerful when it comes to making money while you sleep because most of the work can be automated. In the example of Income School, they produce free content and direct traffic to their programs, but once they get someone to sign up, the system automates the rest of the process and students can gain access to all the content they need to succeed. This is ideal if you are running an online business because after doing the work once, which in this case is producing the course content, all you have to do is monitor and make minor tweaks as you go along, meaning that you will be spending only a sliver of your time to make money while you sleep. Number 3. Start a YouTube Channel I may be biased, but I think a YouTube channel is one of the best ways to generate passive income. The earning potential of a loyal audience is not something that you should underestimate, and I'd like to share an example of just how powerful this income generating asset can be. Let's say you have an audience of 100,000 subscribers. I know you may be thinking that achieving this level of a following is unattainable, but as of early 2020, more than 160,000 channels have over 100,000 subscribers, so this feat is certainly achievable. Anyways, besides earning ad revenue, let's say you made a course you sold for $100. If you could manage to sell a course to just one-tenth of a percent every month, at $100 a course you would earn $10,000 or $120,000 a year. What I am trying to demonstrate is that there is power in numbers and one of the best ways to grow a following is via YouTube. Now a lot of people will argue that YouTube is anything but passive in nature and I partly agree with that statement. You see I personally invest a lot of time every week to make videos and run my channel. From writing scripts to recording the voiceovers and of course creating the animations, I can easily spend 25 hours a week producing content. However, I have many friends who are totally hands off when it comes to their YouTube channels. They outsource all the content and simply package the videos when they are ready. Therefore, YouTube not only has the potential to earn you big bucks, but it can also be an effective tool to make money while you sleep. Number 4. Invest in Real Estate While traditional real estate is more cost prohibitive to enter than digital products and services, real estate rentals are always going to be a great producer of passive income. People will always need a place to live and to work. With long-term rentals, you can secure the tenant, then sit back and collect the cash every single month. While there might be a small amount of maintenance due to repairs, the income will largely be passive and you can make it fully passive by hiring a property manager as long as there's enough positive cash flow. But if owning a property seems too overwhelming, there is another way you can earn passive income with real estate and it comes in the form of a REIT. A REIT is a real estate investment trust that involves buying into private real estate as a partial owner. You can think of a REIT as a mutual fund for real estate investing, and like a fund, the way you own it is through buying stocks. You see, when you own a stock in a REIT, you earn a share of the profit produced by that real estate investment. It's a way to invest in real estate without the hassle of being a property owner, and every time profits are shared, you will receive your portion of the cash distributed. And the best part was that there was no property maintenance, no dealing with tenants and no chasing rent payments required. Just invest and watch your bank account rise while you sleep. Number 5. Set up an e-commerce shop With the explosion of e-commerce comes the opportunity to create a passive income stream using an online store. In particular, dropshipping has become very popular and if you're unfamiliar with it, here's how it works. You create an online store that offers products from certain manufacturers. A person visits your site and orders a product and then your system sends the order to the specific manufacturer. The manufacturer then completes the order by shipping it directly to the customer at which point you collect the profits. One of the cool things about this type of business is that you do not need to order inventory meaning a much lower initial cost making it perfect if you have little money to start with. Moreover, setting up your shop can be inexpensive as well. Many dropshippers set up their store using Shopify which charges just $30 a month, which is much cheaper than the thousands of dollars it would cost to open up a brick and mortar shop in your city. In short, once you have your store set up, the rest can be completely automated, meaning that you will be earning income no matter what you're doing. How would your life change if you earned an extra $500 a month? What about an extra $1,000 a month? 
For most people, making a few hundred dollars a month would open up a new world of possibilities for them. With that money, they could finally start building up a savings nest egg, invest for retirement, or stash away money for their children's education. Whatever the use may be, making more money is always helpful. And in this video, I will share with you 9 of the best side hustle ideas. And if you're new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button below for more life changing content. Now, in my eyes, not all side hustles are created equal, which is why in this video, I want to share with you some legitimate side hustles, their barrier to entry, earning potential, and scalability, so that if you decide to pursue one of these endeavors, that you will know exactly what you're getting into. Side hustle number one retail arbitrage. A few years ago, Gary V created the 2017 Flip Challenge where he challenged his fans to earn $20,170 that year by buying and selling goods. From children's toys to used TVs, people were storming local garage sales and thrift shops in the hopes of finding items that they could buy and resell. And if you want to start making some extra cash every month, then this may be the side hustle for you. In fact, a few years ago, I explored the world of retail arbitrage where I would buy used books from my local library and then flip them on Amazon for a profit. Now, I only took the side hustle seriously for a couple months, but it was lucrative enough that I feel comfortable recommending it to others. In the few months I was flipping goods, I made roughly $2,000 in profit, which wasn't bad considering that taking up the side hustle took next to no training at all. All I had to do was scan the barcodes of the books I wanted to sell, send the books to Amazon, and wait for my payment to arrive. Now, in terms of scalability, flipping a lot of product can be time intensive and many successful flippers do hire staff to help source inventory, but this really only works when you are flipping items for a decent profit. Therefore, I would classify this as having a medium level potential for scaling. Side hustle number two, tutoring. If you're a teacher or really anyone with a college degree, you can get paid to tutor. While tutoring used to be limited to those in your area, the internet has opened up the possibility of tutoring across the globe. From teaching math to science or English as a second language, there are a plethora of opportunities for making extra cash by sharing your expertise. Now, most people wonder what qualifications they must have in order to tutor, and in many circumstances, the barrier to entry for the side hustle is quite low. Most people can probably tutor basic math or science to elementary school students, making the potential for making extra money available to just about anyone. However, if you want to tutor online via a reputable company, then you will likely need a degree in the field you want to teach. In terms of earnings, it is not uncommon for tutors to earn an extra $1,000 a month. Say you charge just $25 an hour, it would take working just 10 extra hours a week to see a nice return for your time. Unfortunately, however, this side hustle lacks the ability to scale. Since you are rendering a service, your earning potential is limited to the free time you have available, which is why I think this side hustle has a low level of scalability. Side hustle number three, freelance work. If you have a particular set of skills and want to make some extra money using them, then working as a freelancer is a great idea. Many freelancers leverage networks like Fiverr and Upwork to connect with clients in a variety of fields like copywriting, graphic design, coding, digital marketing, financial consulting, and much more. And one of the benefits of being a freelancer is deciding how much to charge for your services. For instance, I know resume writers on Fiverr who charge clients upwards of $300 for a single resume. Turning out a few of those a month can easily make you an extra $1,000. In terms of the barrier to entry, sites like Fiverr allow just about anyone to work on their platform, whereas Upwork is a bit pickier. So perhaps you're new to freelancing, you could start on Fiverr and once you have refined your skills and portfolio, can leverage Upwork and other channels to drive up your business. In terms of scalability, freelancing again is limited by the time you have available. However, with some freelancers charging hundreds of dollars an hour, at least in this setting, you can make your time worth your while. And this is why I created the Side Hustle Success course, where I show you how to build a freelance side hustle from scratch that you can use to earn at least a thousand dollars a month. And succeeding with this course requires no prior experience as I walk you through step by step exactly how to scale up to $1,000 or more a month and unlock the newfound financial success that comes with making more money. If this sounds like it's for you, check out the link in the description for more information on how you can join the Side Hustle Success course today. Side Hustle number four, managing Airbnbs. One popular way that people have started to earn more money is renting out a room or an entire house on Airbnb. And while this can definitely be a lucrative side hustle, I recognize that not everyone owns a home they can use to make money in this way. 
This is why another side hustle you can start is to manage someone else's Airbnb. From handling client requests to coordinating accommodation cleaning, many Airbnb owners are glad to pass along these administrative tasks. It's not uncommon for those managing Airbnbs to earn anywhere from 10 to 20% of the property's earnings every month, which if you are managing a property that rents for $3,000 a month, means an extra $300 to $600 in your pocket. As for the barrier to entry, this really just requires you to build up a network of Airbnb owners and then pitch them your services. As for scalability, I believe this side hustle is in the medium range because as a sole person you can only manage so many properties on your own. However, if you can train a few people to undertake the tasks you routinely perform, then you can begin to turn the side hustle into a legitimate business and take a portion of each manager's income every month. Side hustle number 5. Selling Online Courses If you're a master of a topic and wish to make some extra income, then consider creating an online course. Many companies like Udemy allow teachers and professionals to instruct students wanting to broaden their skills. Instructors create the courses, which consist of audio, video, a PowerPoint-style presentation, practice assignments, and exams, then charge a fee to enroll. The longer the course, the higher the pay. Now, according to Udemy, the site keeps 50% of the cost if the student finds a class on their platform, but the instructor keeps 97% of the course cost when the student signs up using an instructor coupon. Therefore, whether you already have an existing audience or not, you can start to make money by leveraging these platforms. Of course, the barrier to entry in this type of market is quite low, as all you need is expertise in a specific skill, but the earning potential and scalability are high. If you sold just 20 courses a month at $50 each, that would be $500 in your pocket, assuming that Udemy took a portion of the revenue. However, due to the high amount of traffic on these learning platforms, it's entirely possible to sell many more courses than this monthly, which is quite efficient given that you only have to produce the course once in order to sell it indefinitely. Side hustle number six, start a blog. Blogging is one of the most popular side hustles because it can be done from just about anywhere. With just a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection, any location can be turned into your personal publishing den. Blogging may not be profitable right away, but for aspiring writers looking to build up a personal brand, audience, and portfolio, a blog goes a long way in advancing your career. In fact, one of the most interesting things about blogging is the roundabout way it may benefit your current career. Sharing your work can show employers and hiring managers how you think about problems and what projects you've worked on. Getting this knowledge down can help you get discovered or stand out from a barrage of resumes if you decide to apply to a new role. In terms of potential earnings, a blog can make you a few pennies a month to tens of thousands of dollars, depending on your traffic levels and how much you decide to monetize. As for the barrier to entry, building a blog is easier than ever before, and with enough consistent effort, you can start to rank on Google and really see your views soar over time. As for scalability, again the power of the internet allows you to access millions of people who can both read your blog, enjoy your content, and hopefully buy your products or services. Side hustle number seven, start a YouTube channel. Well, you knew this one would be in my list of top nine side hustles, and I firmly believe that running your own YouTube channel is a viable way to make extra money. For me personally, it has allowed me to add thousands of extra dollars to my bank account every single month. In terms of the barrier to entry, all you need is a camera and a microphone, and you're set to start on your own YouTube journey. As for earning potential, it truly ranges from a few hundred dollars of income via ad revenue to tens of thousands through the sale of digital products, merch, and through affiliate marketing. Similar to blogs, this revenue stream allows you to tap into the millions of daily YouTube users, which means that if you can build up a sizable audience, then your potential for earning is nearly endless. Side hustle number eight, work as a virtual assistant. Business owners, notably online business owners, regularly need help with a variety of tasks. From social media management to website updates, some time-consuming tasks are very important for a website or online business, but the business owner may not have time to keep up. This is where you come in as a virtual assistant by lending your free time to others in exchange for some extra cash. The barrier to entry is low for the side hustle as you can usually sign up pretty easily on sites like Fiverr and start to sell your services immediately. As for the earning potential, according to Payscale, the average virtual assistant makes $15.57 per hour, which isn't bad if you're just trying to pad the income you already earned through your 9-to-5 job. Finally, in terms of scalability, this has low potential, given that it fits in the trading time-for-money model, 
but the satisfaction you can gain from helping someone else out does make the side hustle another viable strategy to consider. Side hustle number 9. Driving for Uber or Lyft Driving for a rideshare service like Uber or Lyft is a quick way to turn your idle car into cash. Just apply, add the app to your phone, and wait for ride opportunities to come in. Obviously, the barrier to entry for this side hustle is high given that you need to own or have access to a car. But if this is the case, then it offers a very flexible way to earn extra cash. Now, the income that you earn varies dramatically by location and time of day. There may be some bonuses to boost earnings for new drivers and peak times where your earnings can double or triple. Just beware that you pay for your own car and gas, and after expenses, you can make less than minimum wage. But if you're willing to stay up late and drive the last call crowd home from the bars, surge pricing and busy hours will make it worthwhile. Finally, as for scalability, the potential is low given that you can only be driving a single vehicle at any time, but I think that the flexibility this side hustle offers makes it a revenue source that you should consider nonetheless. Thanks for watching. If you want to go from the life you have to the life you deserve, then hit the subscribe button now.